Hello, good morning. Welcome back to another vlog. Stephen and Grace are still sleeping away in the bedroom. I just finished pumping and then I actually need to get dressed real quick because the dogs have an appointment to get their nails trimmed at the groomer in 15 minutes. <laughs> so probably shouldn't vlog for long, but um, I'm finally wearing my glasses again. I'm embarrassed to say for the first time since Grace was born. <laughs> I just, I had misplaced them and I, and I didn't bother to look for them for a little while. So last night, Night, I stumbled across them and I put them on and I was like, oh my gosh, the world is so much clearer. <laughs> Need to make a better effort to wear my glasses. I've told you guys before, call me out in the comments when I'm sitting at my computer working and not wearing my glasses because wow, the world is, it's so much clearer now. <laughs> All right, I need to get dressed. All right, I'm gonna grab the dog's leashes, their harnesses, put them in the car, get everything ready before I take the dogs themselves actually out to the car. I find it so stressful taking Bella and Bruiser to the groomer, like trying to wrangle both of them at the same time in a high stress environment for them with a bunch of other dogs around. It's just, it's a lot. And then the idea of trying to do that, like while taking care of Grace, I was like, there's absolutely no way I'm not doing it. So I made their appointment for like, as soon as the dog Groomer opens so that I could go take them before Steven starts work. That way, if Grace wakes up early, he is here, he can give her the feed, and I don't have to bring her with me to the groomer. Come on, guys. Good girls. It's okay. You're fine. You're fine, I promise. Come on, guys. Thank you. Hi. Can I do an impossible breakfast sandwich with no egg? A grande... Uh, do you guys have the oat milk espresso with the brown sugar? Yeah, the brown sugar oat milk sugar. Yeah, I'll do that. Okay, and what size do you want to do? Uh, can I do a grande? Okay. And then, can I do two puppuccinos? Who wants a puppuccino? Say, me please. Puppuccino, please. <laughs> two puppuccinos for my two good girls. Hi, hi good. So cute. Oh, thank you so much. <laughs> Saying hi, say hello. Thank you. Thank you. Have a nice day. Is that tasty? Good girl. Where's your sister? Where's your sister for her puppuccino? Bruiser, here she comes. Hi, Bob. Do you want your puppuccino? A little treat after a successful trip to the groomer. Good girls. <laughs> Is it that good, Bella? <laughs> We're at Legoland. It's like a little bit overcast, so there's no direct sun, which is perfect for Grace in the stroller. The park is also super, super empty because schools are back open. So really, perfect time to get out of the house. I miss roller coasters. <laughs> it is super, super empty. Grace is napping away in the stroller, and I'm gonna play some Pokemon Go. <laughs> what in the heck are all those things? I have never seen this Pokemon in my life. <laughs> what the heck is this? Oh, it's new. A phalanx, 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 phalanx. No, I've, I've put the vlog on some pretty strange surfaces, makeshift tripods for a clip or a thumbnail, but I think this might be the weirdest. <laughs> I put you guys uh, right here on the corner of a Lego bust of Arnold Schwarzenegger. <laughs> so that's, that's a new one. So it is about two o'clock right now. And I decided that instead of putting Gracie down for this nap, I just wanted to hold her and do a contact nap. This is the week that I am done with my maternity leave and I'm getting back into filming main channel videos. I talked about it more, I think two vlogs ago, so I'll link that in the description. But um, Steven was gonna be taking off this week in full and also next week. That way I can like really jump back into work and also get ahead on filming. But we realized that it would be good for Steven to have at least one day of work this week and next week. That way he still like stays up to date on everything that's going on at his job. and I can easily get done all the stuff I was planning on doing in four days each week instead of five. So we decided that he would work this Monday and next Monday. And I I am so glad now <laughs> because I I think I really needed, I really needed this day. Steven's really excited for like this solo time with her though for the next two weeks. And I know it'll be good for her to, to have that extra time with her dad and good for me to you know, get back into work mode, but I'm grateful that I'm not working today because 
I just want to snuggle. Oh, the other thing that I wanted to talk about was when I was walking around at Legoland today, I randomly got like a little tinge of pain around my C-section incision, which hasn't happened to me since I think I was like six weeks postpartum. It was super random. I didn't like bend or twist or overexert in any way. It was just, I was walking and all of a sudden my incision like hurt. I feel like it's easy for me to think like I, I'm fully recovered. I'm almost 12 weeks postpartum. I feel like pretty much normal again, but it's a good little reminder that, you know, in a lot of ways, my body is still going to be recovering for a long time. And also just that my body is like forever changed by the experience of giving birth, having a C-section, breastfeeding, being a mom. All right. I'm gonna turn the camera off and probably just stare at Grace for the next hour while she sleeps. If I'm being honest, I just, oof. Hello, good morning. It is the next day, it's filming day. I'm gonna put on just a little bit of makeup. I blow dried my hair for like five minutes just to keep it from being soaking wet. But I think with this amount of dry, I have enough time for it to air dry before I'm actually filming at like 1 p.m. Jess is coming over soon and then we're just gonna be doing like some computer work, admin work, video planning. And then we are driving over to the mall where I'm actually gonna film like shopping in person for the first time in like a year and a half, I think. So I'm really excited. Originally for this video, I was just gonna order stuff online, but I realized postpartum, I have no idea what size I wear. And so I figured it would be good to go and at least try on a few things in person before I order some stuff online. That way I don't just waste a bunch of time and shipping, sending things back and forth, trying to find my size. Also, speaking of uh, postpartum things, my hair is still falling out in droves. <laughs> Detangling it this morning in the shower, my and my fingers were like just covered in my hair. It was really, really creepy. <laughs> Another uh, fun postpartum thing. This actually started during pregnancy, but it's definitely gotten worse in the past 12 weeks. And that is, let me see if I can zoom in. My neck has so many little like skin tags and moles and just little bumps that I did not have before I got pregnant. And at first when I was pregnant, it didn't really bother me because were just a couple and it's just like a, a cosmetic thing. But now because there's so many more of them, I found that they like in their rays, they keep getting caught on like necklaces. And I don't know how well you can see, but this one's all red because last night it like got caught on my nail and it hurt so bad. <laughs> Anyways, just another fun postpartum thing that I did not expect, but I Googled it and apparently it is pretty common both pre in pregnancy and postpartum, but who knew that hormonal changes could cause skin tags. I certainly didn't. <laughs> also, I saw lots of questions on this cup that I've been drinking from in the last few vlogs. I know it is not my Starbucks tumbler. Who have I become? But um, it's actually from Target, but it has like a little silicone koozie on it that I just cut off because I liked the way it looked without it better. But the reason I actually got this is because a couple months ago, I was doing a brand deal and I was drinking from my Starbucks cup in the video and they were like, hey, we need you to blur out the logo. You, you can't be drinking from a Starbucks cup. And it was just really painstaking to go through and blur out the logo every single time I drink from my cup. And so I figured it would be good to get a non-branded tumbler in case I'm ever doing a brand deal where they have rules about logos. Some brands do, some brands don't. That brand was like particularly stingent on like no other brands, no other logos showing. So I still have my Starbucks cup. I'm still drinking from it, but now I have an option if I ever need something without a logo. And honestly, I, I kind of like this one better. All right, you guys don't have too much fun while I'm gone. We shall not. We're gonna go to the Amazon drop off. Nice. Return some stuff. Nice. Maybe find some food. Maybe even a quick run to Home Depot. Wow. <laughs> It's some sprinkler parts. <laughs> Sounds like you guys have a full day planned. Mm -hmm. I love you. I love you. Jess and I are gonna be heading out here pretty soon. So I just did one last pump before we leave. That way, hopefully I only have to pump one time on the go if I time this right. I did end up returning the LV and I got a new, more portable pump, but it's not a wearable pump. You guys gave a ton of recommendations in the comments and then I did some research from there. And I ended up deciding on, I think it's called the Medela Freestyle Flex. So Steven washed and sanitized all the parts for me. It's ready to go. It even came with like a little travel bag, which is nice. And I will be pumping on the go at the mall with that. 
All right, hello vlog. Um, just pulled up at the mall, just filmed a clip for the main channel video, and uh, we are gonna go shopping. I'm gonna be trying some stuff on. I'm excited, I'm a little bit nervous. And we have two and a half hours until my next pumping session, so let's go. finally escaped the house. We're going to Home Depot with uh, Miss Grace here. I definitely forgot the vlog at home, so I'm on the good old iPhone. Um, anyways, I'm gonna get Grace. We're gonna go inside uh, looking for some sprinkler parts because uh, just gotta update our irrigation and uh, get everything working. Grace, it's your first time in the plumbing aisle. How crazy is that? The plumbing aisle? <laughs> oh man. I have everything I need tucked away in there. So filming and shopping is not going as well as I had hoped. I was really excited going into today, but I am not finding my size in store and I feel like that can just, it can just be really demoralizing. <laughs> Jess just ran to the bathroom actually. She's gonna meet me at the car because I need to pump. <laughs> All right, I am pumping. It is working. Thank goodness this pump was super, super easy to set up and figure out. I really probably should have not had the first time I tried this be on the go in the car. Probably would have been good to to figure it out at home before but luckily it wasn't a problem it was super easy to set up and it's surprisingly a powerful pump for how small the little like hub is and then it's just normal pump flanges that i connected into my pumping bra which i just wore under my t-shirt today and even though this isn't like as discreet and as portable as the LV. Just first impressions with trying this, I think this is gonna be perfect for what I need. So this is, oh, hey, it's Jess. <laughs> Can we devalidate the part? Oh yeah, that'd be great. Okay. Um, so this is the piece that attaches to the flange that then goes into my pumping bra, empties out into the little bottle here, and then it just has the tube that connects to the base. Also, this is the little carrying bag that it came with, and it also included this little cooler so that I have a safe spot to store my milk until I get home. It is the end of a very long day. <laughs> How was your day with Grace? It was awesome. Yeah. We had like a little 30 minute window where everything kind of went to crap, but <laughs> it was fine other than that. I enjoyed your little videos and updates and, and pictures and yeah, selfies. That's fun. It's, it's crazy thinking like, oh wow, that's gonna be tomorrow and the next day and the next day and next week. I love that you're getting this time with her too. Yeah, it's I really am special. very thankful for it. You know, so it's fun. Your little clips of you with her in Home Depot were so <laughs> cute. Honestly, it was harder than I expected to to leave her, but um, I really enjoyed my time with her when I got home. I got to breastfeed her as soon as I got home. We did like bath and bedtime and all of the things that we usually do together as a family. And I got a little emo when uh, I was rocking her to sleep and I was just like, man, do I really want to leave her during the day? Do I really want to go film? Do I really want to do this all the time? And I, I I know this is something that so many moms go through and honestly I am in an incredibly privileged position where I get to do most of my work from home and I don't have to work full time yeah. and I work for myself so I set my own hours. Like it is, I'm so lucky that it's not just like I'm either back at work in an office full time or I have to decide to not work at all. Yeah, no, it's um, very lucky. Yeah, and so. so I keep trying to give myself that perspective, but it is it is hard. I just, I love her, I love being with her, and I'm excited that the rest of the days this week are at least half the time at home and half the time out and about filming. Mm -hmm. So even though I'm gonna be working, if I'm at home, I can like take breaks, come down, breastfeed her. All right, well, it is getting late here. Yeah. I should finish uh, doing some dishes here. Yeah. Lots of pump parts on these pump heavy days. <laughs> <laughs> and I actually have a little bit more work that I wanna get done tonight before bed. It's like 10.30 right now, but I, I think I can get done what I wanna get done in like 45 minutes to an hour. So gonna try to do that. And uh, we will see you guys very soon with another new vlog. Bye. Bye.